My name is Ajayo Suzuru, a student at Nathan Tekenko College uh, doing HER. And here we have the autonator. So I'm going to show the procedure on how to dismantle the autonator and the right tools to use. For the tools that you have to use, you have to get the star screwdriver and the extension, socket extension. So I'm going to show the procedure on how to dismantle the autonator. First, you start with the locking nut, which is attached to the pulley. After then done that, we get our screwdriver and loosen the, the screws. Then we take off our front cover. After taking off our front cover, then we take off our uh, stator winding. After that, then we can pull out the rotor winding from the back cover. So here we have the we have dis dis disassembled the alternator, and here are the parts which are found inside the alternator. First of all, we have the pulley which is connected to the uh, crankshaft through the V belt, which helps the uh, rot rotor winding to rotate. And here we have the front back cover, which mounts the alternator and here we have the fan which helps to cool and here we have the stator winding which produces the magnetic field and here we have the back cover which mounts the back of the alternator and here we have the rotor rotor winding where which has the slip links where the brushes are come in contact and when they come in contact and power is generated and in assembling back of the parts, we say the last to disassemble is the first to assemble. So we are going to start with our rotor winding, taking it back in the back cover of the... And after you have assembled, you have to check if it is able to rotate freely. So like in this way, it is able to rotate freely, which means you have done the right way or procedure of assembling the alternator. <laughs> 